Good boy. Good boy. Go, 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 go pee. Go pee. This is the human son. <gasps> is Dante pee? No. Um, so this is my new house. This is downstairs. And this is about, I'm going to say 65, 70% of my toys. They're all boxed up here and it's a few boxes deep. And let's go check. Hey, muffin! It's a wild muffin. Here are some more toys in here, along with my new game room slash studio room. Hi, Odie. Hi, Odie. Hi, do you see me? Odie. Odie. Hi, Donto. Hi. So yeah, just getting Odie, Dante, and Muffin settled into the new neighborhood and just finding all our stuff. Wait, why is... Why is my last alliance Lord of the Rings set here being used as a stand? That's okay. It's not that heavy. Do some treats before I go, Muffin, and start doing toys. Come on, Muffin. Let's go. Let's go, Muffin. Treats for the Muffin. Come on, Muffin. Treats for the Muffin. Oh, <laughs> he's such a little fatty cat. Come on, Muffin. Treats for the muffin. No, not you, Odie. Okay, let's grab the iPad for some background noise. Um, do, do, do. I usually like to, oh, I can't believe how crazy, how crazy Hong Kong prices are for real estate. Like tiny little, um, they're called like coffin rooms or something. They're like 850 US dollars for the month. It's insane. It's not even two square meters, a home which will cost several hundred pounds per month to rent. I always knew that Hong Kong had such a shortage of real estate and space and such, but I didn't realize how crazy the prices were. It's insane. Um, that was a really good, actually, um, little documentary piece there. So, like, so when I'm doing, yeah, I know my iPad is super dirty. When I am cleaning, I like to listen to um, Hamilton the Musical or some other musicals like um, Cats, um, Phantom of the Opera and stuff. But when I am doing toy stuff, I like to watch Disney movies, um, Pixar movies and stuff, especially, um, especially like cheesy movies like Hunchback Notre Dame 2, Fox and the Hound 2, Peter Pan Returns, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, it's just great background noise. I always have to have something on in the background. I really love the Toy Story franchise. So let's just do... Let's just do a little bit more Toy Story. So let's rearrange some, some let's rearrange some shelves. Let's rearrange some shelving and let's listen to Toy Story 4 in the background. And I'm currently rocking this Reptar long sleeve Nickelodeon shirt. I love this shirt so freaking much. A subscriber sent this over and I opened it for a PO box opening, which reminds me I really gotta do a PO box opening very soon. Maybe it might be, that might be the next video actually. Let's go Odie, we gotta go. Come on, Odie. Let's go. Is he following? Yep. So here is the toy room right now. It is very empty. Um, Dante and Odie really like smelling everything in here. And so these are all the shelves from my previous toy room. And um, I also have this area here that I'm gonna take the closet doors off and I'm gonna shove some bookcases in there. I got, these are all my bookshelves. I got Mainstays five shelf bookcase. Um, in black from Walmart. I think it was $49 Canadian. Those are the old, whoops. Those are the old Walmart bookcases. These are the new Walmart bookcases. So they're both by mainstays. They're both five shelf bookcases. Um, the, the shelf that remains um, unmovable is up here for the old ones. And for the new ones, there's a little lower so it doesn't look the same. The old ones had a width of about 29 and a half. And the new ones, ugh, the new ones have a width of about 24 and a quarter. I mean, sorry, 24 and three quarters. So just under 25. So you're losing about one, two, three, four, like four inches or something. Let's measure that butt. How big is that butt?
back to work. all done and Toy Story 4 just ended as well so it was perfect timing um so I managed to fit in that little guy right there he'll come in handy so I just push everything to the side some shelves might require a little bit more space a little less space depending on like um you know if this is like the Lord of the Rings shelf and this needs actually more um space for bigger boxes or something so who knows what will happen but I tr I'm gonna try to maintain um all these shelves the way they are so what i'm gonna do right now i'm really hungry so i'm gonna go grab actually no i'm not gonna go grab food i'm kind of really tired and lazy right now one two three four and i feel like i could do five so i think i'm gonna need five times um jurassic so i need one bookcase dedicated to star wars one uh five dedicated to jurassic park but i do need lord of the rings i'm gonna say times two lord of the rings yeah okay okay and so for he-man i'm gonna do a he-man shelf entire he-man shelf i'll try to fit alien and predator in here this will be for jurassic park that's willow lord of the rings my darth vader my glass shelf star wars we don't know what that is video games 80s 90s shelf with like street sharks and like uh gremlins and all that stuff Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles he-man that's the game plan oh and I think DoorDash is about to arrive I ended up getting DoorDash instead of just get the dishes because I have the DoorDash dash pass and so it gives me like free um I was gonna say free shipping it gives me free um delivery when you do like a certain amount order so yep let's do that he's at the DoorDash is he gonna take a picture of you? Is he gonna take a picture of you? Or are you gonna be in the picture? Yay, McDonald's! McDonald's is the greatest! McDonald's is the greatest! Dante's in the picture. He's like, where's my McDonald's? What a secret French fry. There you go. One for Danto. One for Odie. There you go. Oh, they love their French fries. Mm, I'm all caught up with 90 Day Fiance the other way. I'm caught up with 90 Day Fiance the single life. Oh, let's do Restaurant Impossible. Do, do, do. Does anyone else watch 90 Day Fiance? I love 90 Day Fiance. 90 Day Fiance is like my favorite show right now. <sighs> okay, let's grab that game plan. Oh, just dropped it. Let's go. Are you boys coming? Are you in charge of the Lord of the Rings pile? Are you gonna guard it with your life? Oh, hi Muffin. Have you come to help Muffin? Have you come to help Muffin? We're looking for um, all our different categories of toys, Muffin. So that's the Jurassic Park pile. That's the Alien Predator pile. And you're going into the room. You can go in here too, because you count as the video games, don't you? No, that's not gonna do it justice. That's not, this is such a cool piece. I think I'm gonna put it right at the front where you enter. There, that looks so much better, right? Like you can actually see it. And so you can actually kind of appreciate it. And look really cool right when you walk in. So that's pretty stable. I mean, this is certainly not gonna break. It's a little wobbly, but this is not gonna break for sure. Okay, that's good. I like to wedge she lob like in between the shelves and kind of put her on the outside like this, just to give the shelf a little bit of Excitement, a little bit of action. You like Lord of the Rings stuff, Odie? Yeah, Mama loves Lord of the Rings too. Okay. Uh, there's so much.
all. You didn't do anything. You just let me take it. You're not really a good guard dog, are you? Come smell. Casualties from this move so far include this stone protector whose gem has fallen inside of him. Eh, eh, there we go, but I need to like stick that gem in there somehow and kind of like, I don't know, glue it. And then also I knew it. I knew that one of these World of Warcraft figures was going to get broken. They are so freaking delicate. So this human alliance character, his, uh, his sword broke off right there. I thought for a minute, I'm like, oh, maybe it clips in, but it, it doesn't. It, it's broken. Oh, my back is killing me. <laughs> Back up a bit and show you all what I did. Hey, 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 do not touch the plushies, guys. Okay, I know it's hard not to not to grab them. Okay, so all I did was I just grabbed some boxes and I just started putting things on the shelves of where they're supposed to go. So all this is supposed to be like Dinosaur, Jurassic Park, those two were Lord of the Rings, that's Willow. I didn't do the glass shelf yet. scared him the game just fell forward so that's gonna be like toss up fantasy retro all this stuff right here um and then we got a ninja turtle shelf thundercats over here and that's gonna be he-man um and then i still gotta do these shelves as well and i gotta sort everything and i still have so many boxes left hope you're all proud of me for how much i did because i tried to do as much as i possibly could today so i think this was a really good start so let me turn this off. Let me get out of this room before I have a panic attack because I've been in there for so freaking long. I still have to go through all those as well. These are giant, giant totes too. Like look how big my hand is compared to that tote. Um, so I'm gonna have to open up all those as well. So fun, 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 fun. We're getting there. Does everyone get that reference? Whoa, there's a wild muffin here. I did not see that muffin. Muffin. Ugh, that reference is from Hook, by the way. Good night, Neverland. Inside, inside, inside. Have two, have two, have two. Mm, he's just a sweet hums. Mm, 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 mm. He's just a sweet hums. Ow. I feel like I've been in that toy room for my entire life. It's just like the boxes wouldn't stop and there's just so many boxes to go. Uh, but I feel like in the next video, I will be like, hey, here's my toy room, it's done. And I'm, I'm sorry, I know this video was very bore bore and my content lately has been like, toy room's gonna be gone. Now hear me, here's me taking the toy room apart. Now I'm putting the toy room back together. Now here's the toy room put back together. Like I won't do any more toy room videos like after this next one, because this next one, it'll hopefully be done. I've just been so busy trying to settle in here uh, with Dante, Muffin and Odie, get them, get all their stuff out, find all my things. I still can't find my comfortable underwear. I've been looking for my comfortable underwear like ever since I got here. I was like, okay, where's my comfortable underwear? They're so comfy uh, and I can't find them. I've been looking everywhere for my underwear and I can't find them. So I'm wearing all this like uncomfortable underwear. I don't know why I told you all that, but it's been on my mind. It's been on my mind like every single day. Like, where is my underwear? So I'm going to have to just probably, uh, probably just like end up just buying some. Cause I, I, maybe I lost it. Maybe I, maybe I threw them out by accident or something. I don't know. But yeah, so I just want to say hi. I'm checking with you all because I feel like I haven't posted a video for for a while and Odie's doing well. He's not, you know, showing any symptoms or signs of being ill or anything. So hopefully that little bout of him, you know, of going to the emergency vet is over. Um, so yeah, so we're all good. Just looking for that underwear. <laughs> so I hope you all enjoyed this video. I know, I'm sorry it was kind of boring, but <laughs> I'm just trying to get settled in here. Oh, see you all in the next video. I'm very tired. I, I forgot what my sign off was. It's been so long. I think it was like pitch or something. It was like cha-choo, cha-choo or something. So I'll see you on the next one. Bye.